Greetings, brothers and sisters. We give praise to Ahaya, Ashere Ahaya, and our Donna Yachi Messiaka. We thank you all for spending this time with us. This has been a, quite a little journey learning how the church is being built. And now we're, so we're going to actually read the church herself speaking to the body and giving her an understanding of the gospel for us all. So now, let's look at what the church had to say in Shepherd of Hermas. We're going to start at Vision 3, chapter 8. Okay, chapter 8, verse 1. When then I ceased asking her concerning all these things, she saith to me, Would if thou see something else? Being very desirous of beholding, I was greatly rejoiced that I should see it. She looked upon me and smiled, and she saith to me, Seest thou seven women round the tower? I see them, lady, say I. This tower is supported by them by commandment of Ahaya. So we have seven women that support the tower. These are not the twelve holy spirits. Right? These are seven women. Okay. Here now their employments. The first of them, the woman with the strong hands, is called Faith. Through her are saved the elect of Elohim. And the second that is girded about and looketh like a man is called continent. She is the daughter of faith. Whosoever then shall follow her becometh happy in his life, for he shall refrain from all evil deeds. And we see where the continence is toward, right. towards evil, separating ourselves from it by faith. That's why James said, you have works, I'll show you my faith by my works. Right. Believe in that, if he refrain from every evil desire, he shall inherit eternal life. That's the faith that led to continence. Right. Continue. And the others, lady, who be they? They are the daughters, one of the other. The name of the one is simplicity. Mm. Of the next, knowledge. So from faith engenders continence. And when one is walking in continence because of one's faith that one will inherit eternal life by doing so, it will lead one to simplicity. And then that simplicity will lead one. What was the next one? Knowledge. Now you're walking in the knowledge of Allah. I am. Through that simplicity, we see how we build up in these pillars of the church. Of the next, godlessness. Wow. Allah I am had us look at how strong simplicity and godless was and how essential it is for being blessed of Allah. I am. And now he's given us understanding of the steps to attain to the simplicity and godlessness. Right. Continue. Of the next reverence. Look how we build that godlessness that we've attained to through all the aforementioned things brings us onto the reverence of Allah. Hayyam. Now we understand better what the fear of Allah Hayyam actually is. Right. Continue. Of the next love. And when you fear Ahaya, that oh, orphan in love. Because Allah am is love, as first John mentioned. So we see how through the church, she's explaining this to Hermes. And we see how she just gave us understanding of the gospel. <laughs> just like that. This is really that simple, brothers and sisters. And I want to harp on that because Paul said it in Second Corinthians 11 and 3. I fear less. The serpent will beguile you as he beguiled the woman from the simplicity of Mishiaka. Right. We've just heard what the gospel is. That was it. Right. It was a faith. Through faith, at least the contents, because you believe that abstaining from all evil, you attain to eternal life. Right. That abstinence will lead to simplicity, because you're walking in all simplicity before Allah. That simplicity engenders knowledge because now you're attaining to the knowledge of Mishiach, the knowledge of Allah that surpasses wisdom of the world. 
them through that knowledge and gain guilelessness. Right? This is Mishyaka forming in you right? because Yachim had no guile. No guile was found in his mouth. Right. He told even Nathaniel, Behold, an Israelite right. indeed in whom is no guile. Right. Now you're attaining to Yachim. And where is Yachim bringing us? Unto Ahaya Alahayam. Now we get to guilelessness. Guilelessness brings reverence because you're walking in the true fear of Ahayala. I am now through Yache in us. Right. And through that, we attain unto that bond of perfectness, charity. Being the example of a believer. Love. That's the true gospel. These are the pillars that are keeping the church together. And they're strong women. Right. Let's continue reading. When then thou shalt do all the works of their mother, thou canst live. This all starts from faith, right. and everything else is the works of faith. We see how faith ties into love. This is the true gospel in its simplicity that we are given the opportunity to attain unto through Yache, Yashiaka. There was a verse pertaining to faith and love. Sirach chapter 25, verse 12. Understand that this now, this is interesting. The fear of Ahaya is the beginning of his love, and faith is the beginning of cleaving unto him. Mm. So you see how it all. Right. Faith is the beginning of cleaving unto. That's right. exactly what she said. You start with faith. Right. And the fear of Ahaya is the beginning of his love, because the reverence was right before you attained to love. Right. We'll see how the book, this was all the works of the Spirit. Right. Let's continue reading. I would fain know, lady, I say, what power each of them possesses. Listen then, saith she, to the powers which they have. Their powers are mastered each by the other, and they follow each other, in the order in which they were born. From faith is born consonance. From consonance, simplicity. From simplicity, godlessness. From godlessness, reverence. From reverence, knowledge. From knowledge, love. Their works then are pure and reverent and divine. Whosoever therefore shall serve these women and shall have strength to master their works shall have his dwelling in the tower with the saints of Elohim. We have a clear exhortation from the church herself. If we master these works, we shall attain unto Elohim. Okay. Then I asked her concerning the seasons. Whether the confirmation is even now. But she cried aloud, saying, Foolish man, see thou not that the tower is still a building? Whensoever therefore the tower shall be finished building, the end cometh. But it shall be built up quickly. Ask me no more questions. This reminder is sufficient for you and for the saints. And it's the renewal of your spirits. And this is the renewal of our spirits of what we just heard, brothers and sisters. Those of all nations that are seeking to partake in this hope in Yachin, this is the renewal of our spirits. To know that, hey, we have this opportunity. We attain unto these things. And we can get into this kingdom. When we master these things, we can get in. We have a great exhortation from her. It's an interesting thing with Hermes. Because she was giving him the keys to life and it went over his head and he was looking at okay now tell me about the end like she just told you how to get eternal life and you're looking at the end like okay tell me about the end of the world like she's like what are you talking you about just missed it right like, <laughs> yeah, we have to be in the moment right may that be an exhortation for us even now to be in the moment Yache said, take no care for tomorrow, for tomorrow take care of itself. Right. But today is sufficient for the, the evil thereof. So as we hear this, those of you listening, to take heed to this now. Start building now towards this eternal life. Right. And tomorrow will take care of itself. But it was not revealed to thyself alone, but in order that thou mightest show these things unto all, this is being shown for us all to hear, and praise our Yahweh again to hear it. After three days, for thou must understand first, and I charge thee, Hermes, first with these words which I am about to speak to thee. I charge thee to tell all these things into the ears of the saints, that hearing them and doing them, they may be purified from their wickedness. Let me see why we're being told this, so that we can purify 
from our wickedness. Yeah. Let us know we still have a ways to go. Yeah. It's coming to pass. We're hearing it so that we may know the changes we need to make. All right? That's right. And thyself also with them. The hermit wasn't excluded. Right. And we're not excluded. We're all yeah. growing towards this. It's very encouraging to hear, to move forward. With so zeal. very humbling to hermits as well. Right. And that's the calling from the church herself, yeah. speaking in the name of the Son of Allah Hayyam and our Dana, Yache Meshiaka. Praise Allah. Praise Allah. Jala. Jala.